today I have a question for you. Last lecture was about correlation coefficient and regression equation, which is a line linear regression, simple linear regression. And we got the person correlation coefficient as a measurement of correlation between two uh, scale variables. Scale variable, it means ratio or interval. This question for you, how to find the correlation between two ordinal variables, or maybe one ordinal and one ratio or one ordinal, one interval, the same question. What is the measurement for this one? Can you search about this one, please? And let me know what's your result. Again, person correlation coefficient, what we have done in the last lecture, is a measurement for correlation between two scale variables, or it means you have quantitative data. So your variable is ratio or interval. But now, I'm asking a question about qualitative data, exactly the ordinal variable. And the nominal, later on, you will take it in the chi-square distribution, the second statistic course. So how to find the correlation between two ordinal variables? I'm just giving you five to 10 minutes and let me know. Yes, we can use something called Sperman correlation coefficient, right? This is a formula. This is why in the formula person, you have P under the R, which is a notation for the correlation coefficient. Here you have S, the first letter of sperma, okay? What is the D? We know N is a number of pairs because you have pairs at this time. You, are, you have two variables and you are looking for the relation between these two variables, okay? D, it means you have to order the ordinal variables from the lowest to the largest or the highest, okay? Or the opposite, it doesn't matter. But you get the difference between the order of each pair and you square it, get the sum of this column, multiplied by six, divided by the total number of pairs, multiplied by the square of the total number, minus one, all of this one you subtract it from one. And you still have the same property it has a value between minus one to positive one from zero to 0 point, less than 0 0.5 or 49% is weak from 50% to 69% uh, moderate from 70 to 99 strong. If it is 100% or one exactly, it will be identical, right? This is the Sperman correlation coefficient. Let's have an example for this one. Okay, I will go for the uh, math grade. Oh, mark, math mark, and statistics mark, right? And uh, I will compare between this one, okay, for some students, okay, and statistic that mark. Okay, let's go for the student number one. Okay, I have this here is students. Uh, say it's student number one and number two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's not. The first student had got A in math. He got B in, in statistics. Okay. And Student two get B in math, get C in statistics. Number three say he got B, and here he got A. So randomly, I'm just choosing uh, two variable, okay? So I can go this one, okay? So randomly, I make two variable, sorry. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, let's say I have these two variable, the mark of statistics and the mark for math for 10 students. I don't care about the names of the students. Okay, and I would like to have the relation between the math marks and the statistic marks for these two students, to this group of students, right? So, first of all, as I did, I have a correlation coefficient, but I cannot work with this one as a numbers, right? So I have to make a rank. So I will copy this one, control C, now come here. And instead of the mark, I'm just saying rank of my math marks rank, okay? For the order of this one. And for the stat, I make the order for this one. We agree about the order. F is the first one, okay? Or A, the first one is up to you, right? So let's agree about the, the order of this one. Are you agree with me to make F the first one and D the second one and C will be in order three and B will be in order four and finally a will be in order five right now i will replace these ones right by the order so i have the students here okay so i replace the a by number five and b by number four for the first student okay and for the second student he has b and c so he has number four and number but c c number three right okay that's correct now we'll go for the third student he got b which is in order four and he got a which is in order five and d is in order two and c in order three and next f this is one and d will be two c three and a is five number seven f one c three number eight b is order four and a is order five the last students c in order three and f in order one okay now i make like a code right this code up to the order it is up to me if i order like this one or somebody else say no i will start from a to b to c to d to f and i will get a as number one two three four and five we will do both of them and we should have the same result, right? Now, I change this one into a code so I can graph this one. You can graph it. It is a qualitative data. Yes, but I'm graphing the code of this one, right? So I'll go for insert. I'll go for scatter. It seems like what? Like the scatter the blot of a stat mark rank and math rank. And, and math, okay? So this is not a scatter for the data. This is scatter for the rank, okay? It seems when I go from the left to the right, it's going up roughly. So the relation is what? Can you let me know, please? Is it direct relation or not? or inverse relation, or you can say positive relation or negative relation. It seems it's going up, so it is positive relation, right? Yes. Can we find the strength of this relation using what? Yes, I have numbers, so I can go for person. How to find person or RP? RP, I just make R slightly bigger. 
This is a correlation coefficient of person. How to find it using Excel? Press equal. Go for a function. It is better to use statistics. Okay. Okay, I use statistics. If I know the word correlation, once I hear uh, type C O R, okay, and let him go, he give me the one of them is the correlation. Just click OK. And you shade the two variables. One of them is X and one of them is Y. It doesn't matter because the relation between X and Y is the same as between Y and X. So first, I get the student, uh, sorry, this is not a variable. The variable is a mark. Okay. And for Y, I got the stats. Now I hit OK. I get this one. So now I can say it is what? Because it is positive, so it is a direct, direct. Because it is less than 50%. So it is with be direct, weak relation. Somebody else will say instead of direct, you can write it as positive. It's the same. But you have to know positive is exactly the same as. Doctor, why is it weak? Because it is less than 50%. Do you remember when we classify them from zero to 49 weak from 50% to 69% moderate between 70% to 99% strong 100% or one exactly it will be identical X and Y will be identical clear. Can you do the opposite yeah. Can you open Excel and make this order instead of this one. You get A as the first one instead of F and do the same as I have done and let me know, did you have the same result or not? Please do. So please, Abdrahman, can you find the correlation coefficient up to your new order and make the graph, scatter the plot and let us know, did we have the same answer or not? First, find the correlation coefficient, please. Abdurrahman, do you hear me? Okay, yes. So you order them A as the first one, B the second, C the third, D the fourth, and F is the fifth. Opposite to our first order. The first one to the left. Yeah. First one to the left. Yes. Torat Nafsa. Yes, excellent. Let's go for to find the correlation coefficient. Can you move it to see the correlation coefficient? It's behind this one. Hmm. Can you move the graph? Yes. Let's do find the correlation coefficient. This should be Sperman, right? Yes. RS. Yes, yes. Yes. Let's do it. Okay, thank you. No need for equal. No need for equal. No need for equal? No need for equal. Okay. Because you are not going to calculate something, right? You just find the function. Yeah. So what else should I do now? Go for function, but no need for the equal before the function. Okay. And then correlation. Yes, it is this, this one. Now you shade the first one and then comma and then the shade to the second one. Yes. Comma now. Comma. Yes, thank you. Present present it is the same, yes. Clear? 
it's, so it doesn't it's, matter it's, you order them in any order you like but yeah you have the same answer right yes yeah. yes this one to be honest statistics uh, excel doesn't have the formula for the Spearman correlation coefficient right this one is a one minus six times the sum of d square over n times n square minus one it doesn't have this formula but once you make yes. the code you consider this one as a person correlation coefficient right yeah which is the same is it clear yes, yes doctor thank you so much you're welcome